okay, to the administrators of the Immaculate Heart of Mary Academy, to the faculty and staff, and to the students, good day everyone. Okay, today, I'll talk to you about the understanding the coronavirus pandemic true graph theory. So, as you can see at the background, uh, that would be the faces of some graphs in graph theory. So, in mathematics, graph theory is the study of graphs which are mathematical structures used to model pairwise relations between objects. So, not this kind of graph, these types of graphs. Uh, usually, the graphs drawn in the Cartesian plane, okay, not that one, such as straight line, parabola, circle, ellipsis, and hyperbola. So, we will not consider these types of graphs, okay? The graphs that we will be considered are the graphs with vertices and edges, such as past cycles, complete graphs. Okay, as you can see there below, okay, the vertices there are the dots, and then the edges there are the lines. Okay. So, considering the recent pandemic in the world and the precautions taken for prevention of the COVID-19, it is the most appropriate way to exercise the graph models with theoretical as well as practical aspects to control this epidemic. So, depending upon the nature of the epidemic, there are four types of virus graphs, and you can see them later. Virus graph 1 and 3 are not superlative for all living beings while virus, virus graphs 2 and 4 are extremely hazardous for the harmony of the world. Okay, the COVID-19 initially was in virus graph 1 type, but presently it is in virus graph 2 types in some, in some countries. So, COVID-19 is the transferable disease caused by the coronavirus recently started in Wuhan, China. This virus and subsequently the disease were shadowy to the world before its outbreak. So considering the recent COVID-19 virus and its spread across the globe, it is important to understand and visualize the virus spread and impact. So the disease caused by this virus has become pandemic and many countries are affected badly. So using graph theory approach, this study helps readers to understand and visualize this disease impact and spread. So the different graph method presented in this study shows the various graphs. Now, almost 33.5 million cases of COVID-19 coronavirus and more than 1 million deaths have now been reported, reported worldwide. So the largest part of the epidemic in the world comes into sight to be steady or declining. A good number of countries are immobile in the early stages of their epidemics, and few of them were affected early in the pandemic, are now starting to see an improvement in cases. Hence, it is the most important and essential to, pre to prevent the spread of such types of epidemic. Okay, now, the basic concepts. First, uh, the variable set. A set S is said to be a variable set if elements of the set S changes with respect to time or some rule. That is, the set S is not constant set. Its cardinality changes with respect to time. So when we say about cardinality, it means the number of elements of the set. Okay, example, population is a variable set. So, okay, as we all know, population changes with respect to time. Definition number two, variable graph. A graph H is said to be a variable graph if the vertex set of H or the edge set, the edge set of H is a variable set. Variable graphs are also known as V graphs. So, example, big network graphs are variable graphs. Okay, number three, the bipartite V graph. A variable graph H is said to be a bipartite V graph if V of H is equal to V1 union V2 
where v1 and v2 are disjoint variable sets with different characteristics. Number two, there exists a bond on the link or edge between vertices of v1 and vertices of v2. So, if there's a vertex set v1 and then vertex set v2, there is an edge connecting the two sets. But, there is no number three, there is no any bond or edge among the vertices of v1 only or v2 only. So, no edges between the vertices of v1 and no vertices also and no edges connecting the vertices of v2 also okay for definition the n-partite v graphs a variable graph h is said to be an n-partite v graph if number one v h v of h is equal to the union of v1 up to vn where v1 up to vn are just joint variable sets having different characteristics number two there exists a bond in the link or edge between vertices of vi and vj for i and j and i is not equal to j okay this is the virus graph one as you can see in the figure Oh, there is a set I and then a set N. Okay. A bipartite V graph H is said to be a virus graph 1 if Number 1. V of H is equal to the union of I and N. Where I B is the variable set of vertices has some special properties are infected by the virus. So I be the infected ones. And N be the, num be the variable set of vertices not having a virus so the end there are not the affected ones okay number two if i in x if x in i rather creates a bond or an edge with the vertex y in n or vice versa then y is shifted to i and n now becomes n minus y so, if there's an edge connecting the two sets, then the, the vertex there in N will be transferred to, to set I. And then the new N becomes now N minus Y. So, we're going to, um, to get that Y out from the N and transfer that one to set I. Number three. If X in I is recovered by treatment or lost properties of virus, then X is shifted to N, and N becomes N union X. So, if someone recovered from the virus, then from the infected one's I, then it, it will transfer to N. Okay, some countries are still in virus gap 1. Because, um, like Cambodia, because uh, they don't have uh, death cases there. Okay, example. Okay, this is an example of the virus graph 1. Okay, as you can see there, there's a set I and then set N. And there are some edges, edges there. Okay, so some of the vertices are not connected with the edges okay um so we'll let that var variables x a b c d m and then others and some letters uh they will represent as the persons and then um that edges there that lines rather okay or edges represents that um, for example, there's a line from X to Y. It means that X infected Y. Okay? Okay. Now, um, as you can see there, there is a vertex A in I. So, he or she does not infect anyone from the not affected ones. Okay. 
So number zero, if x in i creates a boundary on edge with the vertex y in n, or vice versa, then y is shifted to i. So as we can see, m y n p o q have an edge to the set i. Therefore, what will happen? So they are infected by the virus and then they will be shifted to set I. Okay. That will happen next. So M Y N P O Q transferred to set I. Now number three. If X in I is recovered by treatment or lost properties of virus, then X is shifted to N and N becomes N union X. Okay, this is the, the first example and then the next figure that will be, that will happen next after that one. Okay, so MYNPOQ transferred to set I. And next, okay, in here, what happened? Okay, as we can see there, um, A, C, and D transferred to set N. Therefore, they recovered from the virus. So after this one, if, okay, if, again, the vertices in I infected another vertices there in N, so, what will happen next here? R, S, and T, W will transfer to set I. Okay, and then continue the process. Okay, now we are done with the virus graph 1. Now, for the virus graph 2. Okay, as you can see in the figure, um, it includes now a set F. Okay, definition. A tripartite V graph H is said to be virus graph 2 if V of H is equal to the union of the three sets I, U, I, N, and F where I, again, be the variable set of vertices having the virus and the variable set of vertices not having the virus and F be the set of vertices which can never be shifted to I or N. So, the set F are, contains the set of vertices that can never be shifted to I or N. So, what, what do you mean by that? Okay, we will see it later. Okay, number two. If X and I, again, uh, number two is same with the virus graph one. If X and I creates a bond or an edge with the vertex Y and N or vice versa, then y is shifted to i and n becomes n minus y the set containing y number three same with the virus graph one if x in i is recovered by treatment or vanished properties of virus then x is shifted to n and n becomes n union x then additional property number four the vertices of I are shifted to F if the vertices are infected forever. Therefore, F is the non-decreasing variable set. Okay. So, if the persons are infected permanently, then they will go to, they will be shifted to set F. Okay. Moreover, um, the set F class contains that persons that can never be recovered from the virus since they will never be shifted to N where N are the recovered the not affected ones or the recovered ones okay example this one consider this example okay, as we can see um, M infected u and w n infected r and o infected t so what will happen next here so the four vertices will be shifted to set i they are transferred to set i and then 
another one transfer to set F which is Q okay to see that here okay this is our first example the left side and then R T U W transferred to set I and then Q shifted to set F okay now the virus graph 3 okay another set is added to the virus graph 1 I N and then that is the set S okay what is that set S okay tripartite V graph is said to be a virus graph 3 if the V of H is the union of I N and S where S be the set of vertices which is never infected by the virus so the set S dairy class contains the never infected by the virus persons who are never be who are never infected by the virus okay number two okay number two and three are just the same with the property of virus graph one then it added a property number four vertices of n with some additional features can be shifted to variable set s furthermore the vertices of s are protected by a shield of antivirus or some special vaccines so the vertices of h can't be no no not h the vertices of n can't be directly transformed into s but trans okay wait um the vertices of i rather the vertices of i can't be directly transformed into s but transformed to n and then n to s consequently s is the non-decreasing variable set so for example um there is an infected one here in i and then it will recover so it will go to n and then if he or she is now protected with an antivirus or any vaccine and then it will be shifted to set s okay look at this example okay as we can see m uh, infected S and D, O infected V and C, and then W infected A. So, what will happen next? Okay, as we can see there, the S set is still empty. So, so some countries uh, actually don't have some that, that antivirus. So, it will be empty. Okay. Now, what happened? So, the other vertices now shifted to set I, and then there are two vertices shifted to set S, the E and Z. So, so we can see that. Okay, I'll show you the graphs again. Okay, so that you can compare the two. Now, um, S, V, A, C, and D transferred to set I. You can see there at the side of the set I, left side. Okay, now, there are some vertices who transferred from I to N. What are those? Okay, so we can see that is R and T. And then, also, there are vertices from N transferred to set S, which is, which are E and Z. Okay, that is now the new phase of the virus graph and the last virus graph this is the virus graph 4 as you as we can see in the figure there are four sets already the f i n and the s okay a four part type v graph h is said to be a virus graph 4 if v of h is equal to the union of the four sets where f be the set of vertices which can never be shifted to i or n or s and then two and three same property for the virus f1 and then it added ver uh, property number four the vertices of n with some additional features can be shifted to variable set s so furthermore the vertices of s are protected by a shield of antivirus or some special vaccines Okay, again, 
that set F are the persons who are infected permanently. Okay, an example here. Okay, as we can see, M infected V, N infected S and C, and then O infected F, and then Q infected A and J. So, this would happen next. Okay. Okay, to see that, okay, again, we go back to that figure. As you can see here, S, V, A, C, F, and J transferred to set I, left side of set I. You can see there. And then, there are three vertices in I shifted to F, that is X, Y, and P. So, they are now the patients who who will not be recovered by the by the virus and then there are some edges also from n who transferred to s so there are uh, the this ver the uh, the vertices are k and l so they are protected by a vaccine that will be the new phase of the graph Okay, for the definition of the virus graph, a variable graph is said to be a virus graph it, if it belongs to a class of either the virus graph 1 up to virus graph 4. So, as you can see, there are the figures. Virus graph 1 with, the set, with set I and N only. Virus graph 2 with set F, I and N. And virus graph 3 with sets i n and s and then virus graph 4 with the four sets f i n and s so covid 19 is a virus graph and then at the initial stage it was in the type virus graph 1 so some countries stay in that initial stage okay they they, they, they didn't evolve to virus graph 2 or any virus graph aside from one. So let V of C and E of C are the variable vertex set, so the set of people, and then the variable edge set of COVID-19 graph C. Therefore, V of C is equal to I union N, where I be the variable set of people infected by the virus COVID-19, and N be the variable set of people not infected by the COVID-19. So, some coronaviruses can be transmitted from person to person, generally after close contact with an infected patient. For example, in a household workplace or healthcare center. At present, every country of the world is doing some same for controlling the effect of COVID-19. We isolate people of set I as well as N or quarantine the people of set I or N as per the necessities. So presently, COVID-19 is in the virus gap 2 type. So moreover, V of C is equal to I union N union F, where F be the set of people who are infected permanently. So there are people of the set F will, will not be recovered by any medicine and will die in the near future. So the whole world is suffering from the effect of this virus and everyone is fervently waiting for the vaccine of this virus. Okay, currently there are over 169 COVID-19 vaccine candidates under development, so are still under development. So with 26 of these in the human trial phase, so still having the human trial phase with 26 of the COVID-19 vaccines. So, World Health Organization is working in collaboration with the scientists, business, and global health organizations through Act Accelerator to speed up the pandemic response. Okay, now for the conclusion, mathematical modeling always plays very significant role in the smooth functioning of the world. So, the aim of this study is to understand outbreak of COVID-19 using graph theory model. By applying different aspects of mathematics, world's universal problems have had been consequently consistently resolved. 
So, concepts of graph theory have provided the mathematical modeling of the COVID-19. It has also been suggested methods to control the spread of some types of pandemic. So, types of virus graphs as well as growth rates are modeled by using graphs. So, our analysis and study indicates that there is special need to apply astonishing theories for maintaining the smooth harmony of mankind. So, these are my references. Okay, thank you for listening. Have a good day.